Hey guys, it's Katie. Uh, I wanted to talk today about how you can spend your time to get the most done. So uh, the first part of our time that we should be spending is out prospecting. So what does that look like? You want to go out blitzing, just sharing your blitz card with new people. Um, you want to be filling out the hundreds list uh, document in your e-suite, going through that memory jogger if you can't think of who to put on that list, and just start consistently working through that all the time. You should always be calling people off your hundreds list adding new people, new leads, new contacts to it, and completely uh, going through it all the time. Another thing that you're going to want to do is start texting your friends and family um, and organizing what's called a opportunity. So a lot of people don't know what a opportunity is, so I'm going to go through that with you real quick. Um, basically, a opportunity is just a wrap party. Um, it's a team wrap party, so how that works is you can invite um, other people to your house on the team or you can um, invite you know your friends in your house and have a consistent wrap party every week in your home so um, when you're out blitzing you can blitz with a purpose you can put a little sticker on your blitz card that says when the next wrap opportunity is so people know when they can come and try a wrap um, so you can do it by yourself or you can do it with a partner um, but we have a um, team calendar of opportunities and um, I strongly strongly suggest that if you're getting started or thinking of relaunching your business that, that is where you start so that's the first part is we blitz so that's step one okay step two on where you should be spending your time is that we party we wrap people so, um, you know, you want to be focusing on getting the wrap on people and then retaining the business you already have. If you have a team, this second part of your time should be working with your team. So you shouldn't be spending all this time growing someone else's business. You have your own personal business to also grow. So this could be conference calls. It could be um, getting together with your team to go out blitzing. It could be training. It could be following up with them and giving them a call to see how they're doing. Um, it can be asking them what they need. You know, you want to be a servant leader, always asking what their goals are and what their needs are and how you can best serve them. So that's the second part of your time. And the third part is personal development. And I think a lot of times people get, you know, kind of lost on this part and they don't really spend as much time as they should. So I strongly encourage you to be always reading a book. Um, you can read a book on leadership, on network marketing. Um, some of my favorites are um, Become a Network Marketing Superstar by Mary Christensen. She also has Become a Recruiting Superstar, which is great. Um, Jim Rohn's Building Your Network Marketing Business. Um, John Maxwell, How to Connect with People. Um, I think that's what it's called. Um, I just finished reading Multipliers by Liz Wiseman. Amazing, amazing book. Layered Leadership by Bob Goshen. Um, there's just a ton of great books out there. So take a look and read them and spend the time working on yourself, watching YouTube videos, watching Joel Osteen is another one, you know, reading your Bible, doing things that um, fill you back up because just as much as this is a business, it's also a personal development journey and you're only going to go as far as you can with the skills you already have and you're going to always have to work on your skills and always be hungry for more knowledge. So, um... That's just my two cents on, on how you should be looking to spend your time um, in this business. So thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.